everybody, this is Laura Jerka from Tools for Teachers by Laura J and the ESLA Odyssey. Recently, I wrote a blog post on tips for producing great writers. In that blog post, I talked about using writing process folders to help students learn and follow the writing process. Today, I want to share with you how to make those folders. What you need for each writing process folder that you want to make is two folders. These are the kind of folders that have pockets on the inside and an area where you can attach papers using the brats. Um, if you want to, you can make fancy labels for your writing process folders, but using a magic marker works just as well. Now, I'm going to tilt the camera down so that you can see what I'm going to do. First, you want to determine which folder is going to be your outside folder. In this case, this folder will be my outside folder. You want to open it up and make sure to open up the tabs in the center. Then you're going to take your other folder, you're going to open it out, and you're going to fold it all the way backwards so that the tabs are sticking out in the center also. Then you're going to point these tabs up and we're going to poke them through one side of the holes here. Then you're going to take the other side of the holes from the other folder and stick it through there. Then you're going to fold over the last tab and fold your tab up through there. Alright, after you've done that, you want to mark what you're going to use each pocket for. I always like to mark the front as the writing process folder. Um, if students are going to use the same folder throughout the year, you might want to put their name on it also. Then in the first pocket, I have pre-writing. The second pocket is drafting. The third pocket is revising and editing. And the fourth pocket is publishing. As students go through each step, they can put their papers in the correct pocket. Now, in order to keep these two inner folders from opening back up, I like to take a stapler and just at the very top, staple those two folders together. And then once at the bottom also. Then you can easily flip through your folder and see where the student is at the writing process at any given time. I hope this helps you, and if you have any questions, as always, feel free to email me at toolsforteachers.mrsj at gmail.com. Again, that's tools, the number four, teachers.mrsj at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.